Hey guys, Jimmy of Vegas here, and today we're taking a look at an asset in the Unity Asset Store called Modular Sci-Fi Corridor. So I think this is going to be quite good for anything that you're making which is perhaps up in space or got anything to do with perhaps other planets, maybe on the moon or something. Uh, the quality of it itself is actually very nice. So with the pre-scene that's already done for us, which I love, you guys know I love it, is very nice in itself. So currently I have no post-processing applied in the scene view and without even doing that it looks kind of nice. A bit shiny which is perfect for what you would want in a sci-fi environment. Now the fact it's modular as well also helps you create your own kind of levels with this and you can expand them or do whatever you want to do. But the quality overall is very very good. Remember this is free. A free asset is usually worth a try, even if it's bad, even if it's awful, it's at least worth looking at. And I'm quite happy to say that this is not a bad asset, that's not one of these cases. The size is about 300 megabytes, which is, it's okay. For what you get, it's, it's relatively decent. Just keep it in mind if you're on a slow connection or anything like that. But yeah, free, which is good. Uh, I like the overall quality and I like the overall layout that has uh, been developed in this demo scene. Uh, obviously it gets a little bit better with some post-processing. So if I apply the post-processing, looks fairly decent. And if we press play and go to the game view, it actually has some scripts on it which allow us to look around the scene. Like so. And I do think it is very, very nice. So like I say, because it's modular, you can actually take all these pieces and construct your own level, your own areas, anything. I think it's a very, very nice asset. Uh, obviously, you could apply your own post-processing. You're not restricted to the post-processing that comes with the package because, yes, it does have its own post-processing profile. And on that note, let's talk about the extras. So one of the extras, like I say, is that um, corridor, uh, actual asset for the post-processing. Uh, you could add fog to it if you wanted to. You could play around with it, you know, play with the ambient occlusion. Add a little bit of bloom if you wanted to. Make the bloom absolutely ridiculous because I love bloom. You know, that's kind of cool. So you're changing that to be your own kind of actual touch. You know, your own personal feel to it. Play around with it like that. Add some saturation. Add some contrast. See what that looks like. So now you've created a kind of, think of it as a survival horror kind of image you kind of feel like a laboratory kind of feel so i think that's the how where the usefulness comes in as well so like i said with the extras you get that post-processing profile you get a script as well to help you look around camera control other than that it's just pretty standard stuff that you would expect to see anyway but going back to the usefulness of it like i said you could use this naturally as a space station or on a, a planet somewhere or something but you could also use it as a laboratory now that is something which I initially found to be quite useful because as you, as you guys know, I'm doing a Resident Evil series and I kind of need to plan a lot of things and I couldn't quite find a laboratory atmosphere that I wanted for that tutorial series. So I started experimenting and that's how I found this asset initially because I feel that looking something down here, this looks like a laboratory that you would see in a Resident Evil game. So it's got multiple uses, this asset. That's where the usefulness comes in. Uh, the folds are all laid out nice and neatly, which is always a bonus because things are easy to find, really easy to find. I like them. And obviously the customizability of it is quite high. It's quite versatile because as with any asset, you can change some of these around. You could change the normal map if you wanted to, make them look really gritty like that uh increase it make them look really gritty see what i mean so you're free to play around with this in so so many different ways and that's why i like the versatility of this and as I said the ultimate reason i decided to take a look at it was for a laboratory atmosphere so you could use it as either so as you guys know i don't rate assets i either recommend them or i don't recommend them and I would recommend this asset. I think this asset will fit into most genres of games one way 
or another. You've got to think about it logically. If you're creating an FPS, this could fit in somewhere. If you're creating even an RPG, this could fit in quite nicely anywhere. Survival horror even, adventure game. This is going to fit in quite nicely. And even if this kind of thing doesn't fit in with what you're creating, there's going to be something within this whole package that you may find useful, even if it is just a flaw or something. So that is why I like this asset, and this is why I would recommend it. So guys, have you used this asset yourself? Have you, you know, used it in a game? Have you downloaded it, tried it, don't like it? You let me know what you think of this asset in the comments below. And if you've got an asset on the asset store, whether it's free or paid, let me know. I'd love to take a look at it. So guys, don't forget, click subscribe, click the bell icon as well to stay up to date with everything about game development on my channel. Guys, thank you very much for watching.